What's going on everyone, Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. I am playing my way through the Chaos 8 Mastery, and next up here we have Little Horn Valley. On this one we've got to survive all waves, complete all phases with 10 or more different defenses, finish each combat phase in under 180 seconds, have no core fall below 90% health. So let's see, for this one we are going to bring along the Abyss Lord. We're going to use some, or probably just one, Skeletal Ramster and a bunch of Skeletal Archers. We're going to go with an Earth Shatter Tower, a Frostbite Tower, then we're going to use a Proton Beam, we might use a Reflect, and we're going to use a Buff Beam. And then just to fill out the defenses, we're going to use all four of the Monk's defenses, the Flame Aura, the Boost Aura, Sky Guard, and the Lightning Strike Aura. So let's go ahead and start things off, and I think, or let's see, what, how much do we have to deal with here? We've got 1,100, we've got 1,000 DU. So I think we're going to start things off with getting in a, a little bit of Flyer Protection and using up some of these defenses. So let's go with a Flame Aura right up here and a Lightning Strike Aura. We'll throw both of those up top. Uh, we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to drop a Flame Aura and a Lightning Strike. Uh, on these, I'm going to put them... Um, where do I want them? Well, let's put the Flame Aura there and then we'll just put the Lightning Strike just right down below it here. Now we've got two of our defenses down, but we've got eight more that we need to place. So... Let's head over to this lane. Let's get a Ramster in. Or where do I even want the Archer chain here? I'm thinking I'll put the Archers uh, right along this pillar here, but let's see. Let's throw a Ramster, say, right there, kind of pointed up at that lane. And then we'll throw some Archers just to kind of double dip here. And uh, we will put those just directly across. We'll uh, go something like this. Now I do want to see how many I'm going to be able to fit on a buff beam. So let's go ahead and grab a buff beam. We'll throw it all the way down here. And then let's go with a few more archers. Now these archers, of course, are double dipping. We're going to get uh, a lot of double dipping all over this map. That is for sure. And uh, let's see, I'm thinking something like that should get it. Now, Let's see, we've got tons of DU left. We've still got to get a lot of protections in, though. Uh, let's go ahead and get a Proton Beam right here just to get Destructive Pylon on some of these archers. Uh, not going to hit all of them, but that is going to get uh, some of those buffed. And more importantly, it's going to buff up this Boost Aura. And it's going to hit this Sky Guard. I'm debating on going two Sky Guards here. Hmm, how do I want to do it? Well, we can go two for now. I can sell defenses, correct? Yeah, I can sell defenses on this one, so that shouldn't be a problem if I want to sell. Now, what else do we want to do? Well, we've got uh, an opportunity here for some archers as well, and I'm going to kind of put those right along the rail here. Now, uh, these archers, I want... You know, where do we want them even? Is this where I want them? I'm thinking this is where I want them. Let's uh, just throw three of them right here. We're only really going to be taking advantage of the one side of these archers. Uh, and that could be a problem. But let's just go ahead and put three of them there. Just to get a little damage in. And then we'll get us a buff beam. Uh, we'll throw it directly across here. Those should be in pretty good shape. And just for a little overkill, let's give it a little baby proton as well. Now this lane over here, I really don't want anything coming out of it, so I'm going to add some heavy CC in here. So we're going to go with double protons, something like this, just to get a ton of poison coverage and that chance to slow. And then we're going to want to get what? Let's get an earth shatter, but where do we want it? Do we want it up top or do we want it down below? I kind of feel like we want it down below here. Let's go ahead and go with an earth shatter. Something like that, and then that will give us some earth uh, element as well as that knock up and just massive damage right here in this lane. Now we're going to need some frostbite action somewhere to round all this out. Uh, where do we want to put it? Well, I think kind of the obvious choice is to just throw a frostbite like right up here. 
and uh, that will get the frostbite covered. Now, what else do we have? Well, we've got our proton beams. We've only got 40 DU left, but where do we want the crowd control to be? Uh, I'm thinking probably right here in this lane, maybe? Yeah, I think this lane is a great spot for it. So let's see. Let's take a look at our archer range. Our archers are going all the way to right here. So why don't we drop a proton beam, say, like this, directly in that area to provide a little bit of crowd control. Now, I am going to be DPS in here on my Nuke Monk, but let's double check because we do need to have those 10 different defenses. So let's see. We've got the Flame Aura and a Lightning Strike. We've got uh, Ramster is 3, Archers are 4, the Buff Beam is 5, the Skyguard is 6, the Boost Aura is 7, the Proton Beam is 8, the Frostbite, did I count the Frostbite? I think the Frostbite is 9, and then this Earth Shatter over here is 10. So let's go ahead and fire it up and see how things go here. Uh, we are going to have to put some damage in, particularly here in Wave 1, uh, until we get a little bit more mana. So let's just go ahead and get this side of the map kind of wrecked up here and see what we can do. Now, there's a bunch of archers right there. However, those archers have got a lot of work to put in. Uh, they've just got a lot, a lot of lanes to hit. So we're going to want to make sure that we're helping these as much as we can. Now, on this one, going to be a little bit careless versus those assassins, but we are able to die. That's not really an issue. Uh, all we have to do is make sure that the combat phase is finished in the appropriate amount of time. And I really just want to watch this lane and this lane, uh, as I don't want those sub-objectives, of course, to take any damage. So I've kind of got the lane behind me set up fairly strong, and I did that just so I could kind of ignore it. Uh, this lane here in the middle is going to get pushed, but there's just tons and tons of archers pegging into it. So I think we'll be okay there. But uh, yeah, just going to kind of burn through this one and see how it goes. Now we got through wave one pretty smooth there. Uh, no problems. Now, here I think it's a no-brainer. I've got to drop all of my upgrades into this big old pile right here. Uh, I want this to be just beastly. So let's upgrade all of these archers. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the sky guards too just to be safe. Heck, we'll even drop one on that Ramster. And uh, let's just throw more and more and more into these archers across the way. Now, that should be pretty solid. These are some powerhouses. They've got all the buffs. So they've got a boost aura. They've got a buff beam. They've got destructive pylon. It's all right there. But it's just a whole lot of targets is the only thing I'm worried about. So let's grab a little bit of this mana here before we get pushing and get some Frostfire proct over in that lane. And then from here, once again, we're just really going to focus on watching this lane and that far lane over there. Now, uh, as bosses come out, of course, I'm going to want to help on the bosses as we just do. The main problem here is I've just got so few defenses for the number of lanes that are out there. So uh, let's see how it runs. I actually think I probably could have got away with not having this stuff right here. And that would have given me, what, 60 more DU for something else. I could have put 60 more DU worth of goods over on these lanes, which uh, that would have certainly helped out. Uh, we got an Ogre on that closest far lane over to the right. However, that I think is probably my second strongest lane. So I'm not going to sweat that Ogre too bad. I'm going to just let it come out and see how it goes. And yeah, that Ogre just got demolished. Uh, we do have some enemies pushing through right here. Got to keep an eye out on those Lady Orcs. The Zerkers love to Zerk. There's no doubt about it. Now, jeez, man, it's really making me rethink this whole thing. I'm almost wishing I would have had Proton Beam, a Proton Beam in the center area here. Hmm, what could we do to accommodate that? Well, I mean, I could get rid of one Archer, but I think the only Archer I'd be comfortable getting rid of would be this one of these ones up top. I could drop this down to two, I think. Now, let me double check again. Yeah, I can sell. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's drop that archer down to just two. 
and then we can get a little bit more CC in right here. So let's go ahead and drop a proton beam. How do we want to do it? I think we'll just do it uh, directly something like this. That's going to be quite a choke point right there, and it's within the archer pew pew range. So let's go ahead and let it fly here and uh, see how we run. Uh, once again, I'm going to just spray the upgrades into this lane right here. Now that does give me a nice little assassin killing area as well. Uh, as I can easily just get down into that proton beam, or one of those two proton beams I've got on these two lanes. Don't have all of it spent, but we've got a bunch of it spent. And there we go. So let's just go ahead and get that Frostfire procking. Uh, as you see, that uh, freeze definitely helped out in that lane uh, in the center there. So I think that was a good move, adding some CC there. I mean, really, there's never a wrong answer with CC. The more CC, the merrier. So, I mean, an opportunity to even get more down would have been even better, I believe. We've got a ogre on that closest lane over to the right there. And then we've got a siege roller. But we're going to have to just kind of burn through these mobs. That ogre is going to get handled. The Siege Roller, however, I'm going to have to deal with, but it is on a relatively long lane, so it's got plenty of time where we can burn through the rest of these enemies before we have to go deal with it. So let's just let them keep flowing. We got a big flyer push this wave. We're looking pretty good on the flyers. And then now we're down to just a few mobs left, and one of them being, of course, that Siege Roller. So it is time to bring the pain to Mr. Siege Roller. Let's just go ahead and get the big nuke on that guy and we will call it good. So everything's looking like it's running pretty smooth. So let's go ahead and bounce on forward to wave number five and get this thing closed out. And here we go into wave number five. Now, uh, pretty smooth running on wave four. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned throughout this run is the under pressure challenge of it, and that is the complete all combat phases in under 180 seconds. Uh, the reason I haven't really mentioned that is because it's just trivial. 180 seconds is three minutes. That's an awful lot of time for a wave to run. So the, this particular map just doesn't have that many enemies. It's just not that difficult to get the wave burn in 180 seconds. Uh, particularly with us spawn camping everything. So pretty much everything is just getting crushed right at the spawns or shortly after. Uh, let's see how wave five goes here, though. We've got the Death Weaver rolling out. I don't think the Death Weaver is going to pose any issue whatsoever. Yeah, it looks like it's just getting just annihilated here. It looks like the Frostfire almost killed her. And um, once again, just changing focus, staying here on these three lanes, uh, making sure that we're getting stuff done. Uh, death, death happens, sadly, but luckily this is not one of those maps where death matters. So let's just get back over. While I'm here, though, I might as well get a little Frostfire proc right there and then just kind of head right on around. So I've been dealing with the assassins right here in this proton beam, and that's been pretty convenient. Uh, we've got what? We've got a captain rolling out. I think that captain will get smacked. We got us another assassin. Uh, I do have Sparkle Party ready to go if need be. Uh, looks like the captain uh, made the sneak there, but did get smacked right in time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use that Sparkle Party on that last Assassin. And then, oh man, that was like almost close right there. It looked like an enemy was about to press through, but we got the job done over here. It's all about staring at the minimap, y'all. Watch the minimap, see where your lanes are getting pushed, and the minimap is a really glorious addition to Dungeon Defenders 2, there's no doubt. Uh, I wish that the minimap was a thing in all the Dungeon Defenders games. Uh, but it is without a doubt in DD2 and a wonderful thing. So that was Little Horn Valley in Chaos 8, and there is our five fresh stars. So that will do it for now. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.